Welcome in, everybody. It is Thursday. Tonight is a big night. I'm going to be in Springfield, Tennessee, where we have the Robertson County Connection newspaper, and we will be covering, I will be judging, The Heat Goes On, The Chili Challenge 2022. They've, they, they've told me they'll have Tums and ice on hand, just in case I need that. I've just told them I'm bringing my gallon of milk. I'm ready. <laughs> the Civic Center tonight on North Main Street in Springfield, Tennessee, where God lives. Uh, Open Door Pregnant Center and Pregnancy and Resource Center is a place. It's, it's a ministry I can get behind. I'm going to tell you right now, it is so good and so important, the work that they do. And I know that a lot of you uh, might be like me and say, hey, you know, I really would love to get behind a ministry that helps little ones. I don't have kids and I would love to be behind something really cool that can help um, help babies. And I love I love baby clothes and I love uh, just all things baby. And I think now they're really in need of size six diapers, but I'm sure they would take diapers of any size. Uh, I see very often people say, you know, my baby grew so fast, they're out of these. Well, if you have unopened or some some packages of unused diapers, I bet you they would take them at Open Door Pregnancy Center. All things baby, if you go and uh, if there's a sale or you're a couponer and you've got some baby wash or any kind of baby items, they can use them at Open Door Pregnancy Center and they are open to that. Also coming up in November, the blood drive. It is to it's the, uh, share your strength, the sickle cell fighters and the sickle cell fighters are part of the blood drive at Cumberland University at Bear Chapel. This is coming up November 15th from 10 until three. And I just want to encourage you to be a part of it. It's part of the Red Cross blood drive there at, um, at Cumberland University, the Omegas, the, the Omega Dogs. We'll be sponsoring this. And if you can be a part of this, I, sh I would appreciate it. Anytime you can give blood, because our crazy world in the last two years has people afraid to give blood. Isn't that, you know, it's just where we are, just the world we are in right now. Well, it's time for our Daily Yummy. Our Daily Yummy always talks recipes and something yummy. So let's go for it. The Daily Yummy. We are not just chicken. We started a movement, celebrated chefs, proud parents, raised on family farms with no antibiotics ever. Springer Mountain Farms, fresh chicken. Find at your local grocer. Well, it is getting to be the holiday season where people are having great parties and we love a great party. We're even going to have Taste of Nashville at the Omni Hotel this year and it is going to be wonderful. We're going to be taping. We've got some wonderful guests that we will be announcing, but here's the deal. Downtown Nashville's from from Halloween all the way through New Year's Eve. It's going to be a madhouse. So how do we stay safe? Well, the first thing is don't drink and drive. Our Tennessee Highway Safety Department, our Highway Safety Office has something very important. 
it's not just about you. So, I got a DUI. Mom, Dad. Why didn't you just call someone for a ride? I wasn't thinking ahead. I didn't think I was going to get caught. Yeah, my best friend Tim. Still coming to my bachelor party next month? This DUI cost me 10 grand, so no. Yeah, you, in the back. Did you know I almost died when you hit me? I didn't think this would affect so many people. You think it was worth it? No, no, no more questions. You know, it's like, I didn't think it would affect so many people. That's the thing, making the decision. There are a lot of people, there are sober rides that would be taking place all over Nashville. There are Ubers and taxis and there are ways. So make sure you put in your budget instead of buying that last drink to buy your ride home. That's really, really, really important. I got a couple people on the line and I cannot wait for you to meet them. There is a movie that you can get behind. I love sharing stories about family entertainment, good entertainment, empowering. The thing to be on this show is uh, does it inform and does it inspire? And this does both. We've got two folks involved in a brand new movie that's all about the love. And let's get all of these folks online. Oh, my hey. God. All here, Jeff Peterson, David Hewins, and our very special star of our new movie. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I'm so excited to see you. Hey, guys. Hey there. Hey there. Oh, it's wonderful. Can you tell me a little bit about this upcoming movie and how people can get involved? Because they can actually help fund this movie right now. That That is correct. That's correct. We're doing a crowdfunding campaign right now to raise the funds to help Jay be a movie star. Jay's always wanted to be in uh, the movies. And uh, I was blessed enough to be able to write a screenplay uh, inspired by Jay's life and our friendship. And uh, so we're crowdfunding right now. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Well, let's talk a little bit about now, Jeff, what what part do you play in facilitating this movie? Because you reached out to me and sent me a clip yes. of this movie that I just it blew me away. I love the story. Well, I, I uh, it came to me through, through a friend and it just touched me. And I'm like, I got a hold of David and I'm like, what can I do to help? I will promote the fire out of this. I love this movie. Um, he even let me read the script, which in it just made me even more passionate about it. You know, it, it's just an incredible, incredible thing. Um, yeah, Jeff's it, our super fan. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, I am too. I am too. Would you give me a little thumbnail about what the movie is about? So yeah, so the the movie is about uh, an older, <laughs> of course, it's about this guy. It's about it's about an older uh, school teacher who is retiring, and uh, he meets a young man uh, who has Down syndrome, and that's Jay's character. And it's it's just that the the old man is retiring and hoping to just have this peaceful life and open a little cafe and just kind of have calm after years of working in the school system. Um, but when he meets Jay, he realizes that what he really needs is, is love. And so Jay's love comes into his life and just melts his heart. Uh, and it's just so that it's just a beautiful story uh, about the two of them and their relationship. That is wonderful. Well, Jay, I want to ask you when they ask you to do a movie about you, about, work and being in this environment what did you think when you said you're going to be become a movie star i love it <laughs> so do you go to work every day do you have a job no you don't okay just wanted to see there is a place here in nashville that um i help uh raise money for it's called the rochelle center and they provide jobs and it is a wonderful place and they make the best cookies in the world. That's what they do is they make cookies and they spread love through cookies. But uh, I, I cannot wait for this movie to happen. And the way that it happens now to explain what crowdfunding is either one okay. of you. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, crowdfunding has been around for probably over 10 years or better. Um You'll, some of the bigger sites are Indiegogo and um, Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. And um, what, it, what it is, it allows people to invest or donate uh, a smaller fund than normal investments that will require higher 
income individuals that would have, you know, certain stipulations on their income and their net worth. So okay. this is common people just, you know, to invest in a cause. And so I this, love it. this movie, you know, our goal is to raise awareness for Down syndrome. So it's, it's something that's close to a lot of people's heart. You know, if you, if you have somebody in your family or you know somebody with Down syndrome, um, then you're aware of this and you want to support it. Um, and, and, you know, so crowdfunding is that way you can like on our, our crowdfunding, we're offering perks for as low as $25, uh, you know, but you can also, if you want to be, uh, uh, an extra in the movie or an associate producer, here we go. He's showing you his coloring. Oh, I love it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Jay, Jay is a prolific colorer. He uses Sharpies. And he is. Oh my goodness. I've never seen anybody color as much as Jay. Oh, that is beautiful. And that will be in the movie. That part of it will be in the movie as well. Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. Now tell me where did they go? Where did they go to find the information and the name of the film? Yes. Yeah, so uh if you could if you go to um made with love the movie.com, made with love the movie.com, you can uh, come and find out more about it and support. There so it is. we got it up made with love, the movie.com. And that has all the information on how you can uh, fund the movie made with love. And Jeff, you reached out to me and I was so happy because uh, one of the things we do on this show is try to get people involved in the entertainment that they want to. We can sit home and complain. There's nothing to watch. There's nothing to go see. Or we can be part of funding and helping people uh, with the dream. And I would, frankly, I would love to see Jay as a movie star. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Well, thank you for uh, having us on too, Devin. I appreciate it. All right. Well, you guys have a great rest of your day. Made with love, the movie.com. And I so appreciate you guys being here. Thank, thank you. you. So much. All we right. appreciate it. Bye, Jay. Bye. <laughs> oh my goodness are they not precious i just i love the idea of this movie made with love and um if you go made with love the movie.com and you can find out even more information and i bet you can see that wonderful trailer when we come back we're going to get the hits list it's going to tell us where we can get some other good entertainment all weekend long the hit Speaking of good entertainment, the homesteadchannel.com, Rory Feek's new enterprise. And did I sign up to be part of the email list so I would know when that goes live? I did. I did. And I confirmed it twice. I know. I know it's not. That's the way we say it. It's not twice. Anyway, <laughs> so if you want to be part of it, go to the homesteadchannel.com. Now, what are we doing this weekend? Well, I have no idea, but I know who has got the scoop. And that is Tracy Hits with the Hits List. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm ready for a weekend already. It's so pretty out. Oh, my gosh. And Nashville in the fall is when every, if you visit in the fall, you move here. It's just like a rule. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, good news. The weekend starts on Thursdays. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. It really does. Yeah, tonight we've got Vanessa Williams at the National Symphony. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Wow. Yeah, that's going to be beautiful. So oh, be wow. She's so good. And with our symphony, oh, my gosh. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Um, Nashville Nights, which you know I'm a part of, is an international songwriters festival in Denmark. But we started doing some things in the U.S. and a couple things in Nashville. So we'll be at the local tonight. We've got C.J. Field, who writes with Ashley McBride. 
Chancey Neal, who you know, uh, mm-hmm. in love with, uh, toured with Luke Bryan, Lee Starr, who had um, a number one with My Boy, Matt Rogers, who just had 2.5 million streams on his current single, um, and Kenzie Coppin, who is the 2022 uh, CMA Artist of the Year in Texas. Um, that's their round uh, that'll be at the local tonight. <laughs> Please tell Miss Kenzie Coppin congratulations. I'm so proud of that young and I remember she showed up uh, to do my show and she was with her sister and they had driven across country in a van in the middle of August from Texas all the way in with no air conditioning and it was just they were out and they were just but they made it on time and they got there. And I said, anybody with that kind of wherewithal, I'm for her and now artist of the year down in the Texas Music Association props she's amazing she just accepted her award over the weekend and uh she was in a random hotel um down in texas and this woman was looking at her and she and she knew who she was uh kenzie knew who she was and she's looking she's like i know her i know her and so kenzie's like hi dina carter i'm kenzie i opened for you a few years ago and she was like oh i remember it was just like a super Mm -hmm. sweet moment and then kenzie flew back uh, especially to get back in time emma zink was the featured artist with Bridget Tatum's new publishing company. So Nash, they had an event yesterday, Analog and Kenzie showed up, rolled in a little bit early just to support Emma, one of her best friends. So yeah, it's um, it's just all around. She's an awesome person. And I said, Emma Zink, if you want to see her, you should be paying attention to her for sure. Bridget yeah. Tatum snatched her up <laughs> after they met in Denmark at the Songwriters Festival. Um, but anyway, we'll talk about someone else. Uh, Reba McIntyre is going to be at Bridgestone this weekend with Terry wow. Clark. Mm-hmm. And y'all, if y'all have not seen Reba in Big Sky on ABC, playing she plays a a dark character. I've not used to seeing Reba in that, but oh, she is she's doing great. She's it's so haunting, and she has this little recurring song that she sings to her wicked son. That uh, it's like it's like it's a perfect role, and she's in that. So ABC, go take a look. And I have not gotten to see the new show that's on Lifetime called The Hammer. I, I'm looking forward to that because, I mean, she, Reba is everywhere. She is. She just keeps reinventing herself. And, yeah, she's awesome. So she mm-hmm. is tomorrow at Bridge Show with Terry Clark. And then Pig Fest is in Hendersonville. That's on Friday and Saturday. So, obviously, they're going to have a lot of um, amazing um, barbecue and pulled pork. But they have the Kentucky Headhunters as the feature. It sounds like Friday. You know. Yep. And then Drew Parker will also be there. And he's one of my favorites as well. So Hendersonville, not too far from Nashville. Oh, I'm telling you, go to Pig Fest because it will be the party of parties. Um, because uh, I mean, I love the headhunters for years. I, I were, I have my headhunter story. I was getting off a plane to go to the ACM Awards in LA. It's when they used to have, you know, it's like you know, you're there. And then it was when Nashville all got on one plane and we all went as one. Wherever we go, Nashville is just like one big knot of people. We don't even separate. We, we see each other every day, and then we go. Okay, I was getting off the plane and someone slapped some at the time, some headphones in over my ears and said, and I'm like listening to this band that's like incredible. And I turned around and it was Harold Shedd. He said, Devin, what do you think? I appreciate your ears. You always know a good band. Do you think I ought to sign him? And I said, like yesterday, it was the Kentucky Headhunters. Oh, wow. And so I always tell Richard Young, I said, you know, you got your deal because of me. (laughs) (laughs) No, they got their deal because the best ears that have ever been in Nashville, Harold Shedd, who signed Alabama, who signed Shania Twain, who signed the Kentucky Headhunters. He was, he's, and and so many more, but he was always way ahead of his time. A lot of people took credit for Harold Shedd's work. I'm just going to say Harold Shedd was the, he, you can take an act that's already been developed and make them great and keep them great, but you have to discover them when no one knows who they are and make them great. And that's, that's what Harold Shedd did for this town. Yeah, that's amazing. Well, I'm excited. I, when I saw they were playing Hendersonville, I was like, oh, wow, that's amazing. So, yeah. Yeah. Like I said, that's tomorrow. He said tomorrow, not Saturday, correct? Right. Okay. Yep. yep. It's Perfect. Friday. And uh, Farron Rachel's, oh, and Farron Rachel's is on that show, too. Yes. Ooh, it's going to be awesome. So good. Yeah. And then I said, I love Drew Parker, too. So, Saturday, yeah. mus- Musicians Corner, they're having their fall market that Saturday and Sunday. So, ton of music out there. Um, Boo Rang. And it's free. And it's free, too. Musicians it's Corner. Free. free. I know. It's, it's Again, it's crazy the stuff that you can do. Also free. Boo Ray is playing at Acme on Saturday night at 530. I love Acme. I love Boo Ray. I think it's going to be a great show um, for him. Sunday at the Bridgestone, Lizzo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, crazy stuff that she has brought to the plus size community. 
I mean, I was just watching somebody uh, last night that I discovered. Uh, it's like she's in uh, somewhere in North Carolina and she's got this boutique that people drive hours and hours to go because she has plus size fashions that are a lot like Lizzo. And I mean, it's just like, you know, show the curves. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> show the curves. And I go, they are, it's, it's a whole thing. So Lizzo will be in town. So a lot of people show and they will be decked. The people going to the yes. Lizzo show. Yes, it's going to be awesome. My friends went on in Chicago when she was there. They said it was amazing. If you don't follow her on TikTok, like I said, she's just very inspiring of, of the, with the stuff she puts out and she just mm -hmm. to be who you are and, and to be happy with who you are. And I, I love her. I think she's great. Yeah. Um, Titans have a home game again this weekend. We talked about it. the listening room has um, a, a tailgate where they're doing their, their music out there as well. And that's free. Um, it starts two and a half hours before kickoff open to the public. So even if you're not going to the game, you can pop over to the fan fest and kind of see what happens at the listening room. And then to tie back a little bit to Nashville nights, Denmark, Craig Finn was one of our artists that played out there and he is going to be um, at the basement um, on Sunday night as well, Craig Finn and the Uptown Controllers. Um, so that yeah, basement East um, on yeah. Monday. Wow! And don't forget backstage Nashville. I'm there every Saturday, and it's always a, almost always a sold out show. Because yeah. if you got people coming in, it's great. Because then you don't. It, it's before the craziness happens. You know, you show up, get your seat at eleven fifteen, twelve fifteen. The show starts. You can have lunch, and be back home by three o'clock in the afternoon. So. Yeah, I, I would go to that every weekend if I could. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you got to cover everything. If you missed something that we talked about, go to thehitslist.com. And Tracy Hits, I, I, I just, I want to encourage everybody that wants to be an artist. If you need help in this town, this lady is connected. And she is, her company, Hits and Branding, will help you. And I always say, if you're going to need to put your team together, don't do it without talking to Tracy Hits first. There you go. Thank you. How's that? <laughs> All right. You have a great weekend and you and your love are everywhere. I'm, I'm going to follow you on Instagram because I get tired just looking at the pictures. <laughs> Thank we'll you out. so much. All right. Appreciate you. Okay. Bye-bye. Ooh, law. She goes everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. There's a big gala coming up for Adult and Teen Challenge. Heartland Adult and Teen Challenge is in Murfreesboro, Clarksville, and Memphis. Hello, my name is Gene Garcia. I'm the Outreach Director for Adult and Teen Challenge Murfreesboro. Adult and Teen Challenge is an eight month program with a four month mandatory re-entry. At this program, men are gonna learn life coping skills through biblical principles. Our main objective of this program is not just to get someone off of drugs, but to teach them a whole new way of life. Through this program, there'll be a work program, that'll teach job acquisition support, there will be budget training, and there will also be church services that they will go, go to weekly. If you would like to come to this program or got questions about the program, please call me. I can be reached at 615-624-7878. I could be emailed at gene at atctn.org. And our website for more information is atctn.org. Thank you and God bless you. I love what they do there. It's affordable and it helps people and gives people hope each and every day. Well, let's check in with who is watching because I got, man, I tell you what, well, we've got some crazy people who are leaving some crazy stuff on our scene, but you know, we're going to ignore them and I'm going to hide those remarks and those comments after we get off the show. But Mona, if y'all want to be on this show, y'all get in touch with Mona Bagsby. She is here at Main Street Media and doing all sorts of good stuff. And Phil McGarra, I love you. He's a great country singer. He is wonderful. I love his music. And he is a cowboy, a real, actual cowboy. And uh, he is out in Oklahoma, and he watches the show and catches it. And um, for all the crazy, goofy people who are sending me weird messages during this time, we're not going to put you on. I'm going to go back and hide your comments. So there. Hey, we got Brenda. Hi, Brenda. It's always good to see you. Um, last but not least, one of our last stories, we're going to go to tractor supply. Now, a lot of people are looking at creating their backyard paradise, but a lot of people are looking at the backyard paradise for birds. Birding has become really popular, whether you live in an apartment and you have a terrace and you just want one little bird feeder, 
or whether you want to create a backyard paradise for your birds, Tractor Supply has a new series. And my friend Janet Ivy from Janet's Planet, from all sorts of good stuff. Janet Ivy is part of it. And she will tell you just a little bit about how to make your backyard paradise. And I'm doing this story just for my little sister, Faith, who has discovered the Tractor Supply Birding Department. Attracting wild birds to your backyard takes more than just birdhouses. Wild birds look for places to feed and nest, and creating a permanent habitat for wild birds will make them want to come back year after year. One of the best ways to attract wild birds is to make sure that your yard is inviting to them. Here are a few tips on how to transform your yard to attract birds of all types. It's important to make sure you have a variety of trees, shrubs, and flowers that are attractive to wild birds. Try to create multiple layers of foliage with the different heights of your plants. This will give wild birds plenty of shade, food, and cover. Now, cover is a key ingredient in the success of your wildlife garden. In winter, wildlife species need shelter from the cold and wind. Evergreen trees and shrubs, especially those with branches close to the ground, make some of the best shelters. These evergreens give better insulation than plants without low-hanging branches. Give your yard a natural feel by planting flowers in groups of three, five, or seven. Don't be afraid to get creative in the way you plant them. Feeding wild birds using bird feeders is the best way to get them to visit your yard. It helps if you plant flowers and trees that flower or bear fruit at different times of the year. For example, blackberries and raspberries provide fruit in summer, while trees like dogwoods produce fruit in late summer and early fall. You should also include plants that retain their fruit through winter into early spring when food is hard to find. Both crabapple and holly grow well in most areas and are excellent plants for wildlife in the winter because they offer food when it's most scarce. To find out more about making your backyard an attractive place for wild birds, visit the know-how section of tractorsupply.com or your local tractor supply store. I will say that uh, if you are there, be sure you join their friends and family uh, thing on the app that it earns you points every time you do, um, every time that you go and buy something there. And, you know, every month you get like $10 off. You have a little coupons and free delivery and free tra trailer rental. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a pretty good deal. And if Mona is watching, you know, I got to have me an app. I order on my app and then go pick up at Tractor Supply. It is the handiest, dandiest little app ever. And uh, oh, a big thank you for the our, um, the Made with Love movie. Thank you for having us on. I keep you in touch, keep you up to date. Well, that is good. I'm glad that you guys join me each and every day. You guys share the show and we try to do positive stories. If you've got one, just drop me a line at devinoday at gmail.com. We love to give positive stories about what's happening locally and how you can be a part of it. And uh, it's easy to get in touch with me and it's easy to let people know we've got positive stuff happening each and every day. And Sunday, our new show, Devin's Table, has some real cool stories this week, too, and uh, including, well, I'm not going to tell you, you got to watch. Be safe, everybody. Be kind. And remember, most of all, you are loved. Have a great rest of your day. We are home, we are family, we are things to do and place to see. Mom and Pop, local grown, small business Saturdays. We are Main Street, Main Street, Main Street. We are your main.